we are here to congratulate as the part of the permanent Zimbabwe revolution, President Idim Nangagwa, for a very successful hosting of this summit. More important for him assuming the, chair, the chairmanship of SADC, an important sub-regional organization which is key to the destiny of Zimbabwe in the past, in the present, and in the future. Uh, this summit was well organized. So President Nangagwa, well done for a good job. We also want to, 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 to pay gratitude, be very thankful to the outgoing chairman of SADC, uh, President Lorenzo of Angola. He spent two, de two days here in Zimbabwe, even considering the busy schedule of a head of state. He spent two days here following the proceedings, but more important, giving a comprehensive report of what SADAC has been doing under the year of his chairmanship. We are also very thankful of President Ichilema of Zambia. He was present as the chairman of the organ of security and defense of SADAC, virtual though it was, and he gave a report about the progress of defense and security matters within SADAC. He gave a report. And most important, he put to rest any aspersions about the electoral processes in SADAC, including that of Zimbabwe. He gave a report which says SADAC has done well and the transitions from one administration to another after elections had been peaceful and that uh, generally Sadak had performed well in its elections. So uh, for those detractors and their, uh, their, 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 their hand, the, the, the people they handle in the opposition of Zimbabwe Triple C, it was zero gain. There was, there was Zambia debunking some of the aspirations which had been made about the elections in Zimbabwe, clearly putting aside the report which the Triple C and the detractors have been latching on to about elections in Zimbabwe. So that matter has been put to rest. Mm. Though he may not have been here in person, he was there because it's modern technology. Heads of states have got different obligations at any particular time. You cannot, uh, 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 of necessity or otherwise, demand of them to be always present at a certain function. But Zambia was presented, represented in full force with the foreign minister here and a powerful delegation from Zambia taking, de making contributions in all aspects of the deliberations of the SADAC summit because there's so much which we share with Zambia. And um, for those who want a historical perspective, ZANU-PF, was born in Zimbabwe, but it survived because of Zambia as a national liberation movement. We owe our existence as ZANU-PF to the support of Zambia. More than that, the modern, of, the modern state of Zimbabwe owes to the support of Zambia. So beyond our bonds as neighbors, as people with a, with a past history together, we developed these very, very powerful bonds between ZANU-PF and the people of Zambia. There is so much which ZANU-PF can talk about with Zambia, and there is very little which the C opposition can talk about in terms of their relations with Zambia, beyond waffling about nebulous things about elections and democracy at the behest of outsiders. And remember, the democracy, the free speech which the triple C's want to champion. It is a product of the collaboration between ZANU-PF and the Zambian people. <laughs> it is not a product of Western countries. We wrestled it out of Western countries where our colonial partners, where, I mean, our colonial occupiers. We wrestled it out of them. They didn't give it voluntarily to us. We paid the ultimate sacrifice for it. So for triple C, to try to say they have a common cause with, the Zimb with Zambia about Zimbabwe and on the issues of democracy and free speech and all in the elections. It's a lot of humbug.
you know, it's a lot of hogwash on their part. We are the ones who have a history with Zambia on those issues. And the relationship between C and what they would expect of Zambia is a mere wish on their part. Whereas on our part, the relationship between ZANU-PF and Zambia, it's a history of achievements over the last six decades in the anti-colonial struggle. And that relationship is enduring. And that was what the Zambian delegation was talking about at the SADAC summit. There was no way, any way where Zambia came short in terms of their participation and contributions to the, uh, to the, to the proceedings of SADAC. We, they were on par with all the other 16 states which were, have, which were in Zimbabwe in the, on this occasion. Why am I dwelling on this point? I want to put to rest that there can be anything which can be put as a wedge between Zambia and Zimbabwe by the late come, the John Cam Lettlis, who are the triple C, and their brand is foundation. No, 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 you won't, you won't pull it off. The bonds are too great, and as I talk, Trucks carrying copper and cobalt from Zambia continue to pass through Zimbabwe on their way to the coast, <laughs> not affected by the mouthings of the triple C. The bonds of, what I'm saying, the bonds of trade, the bonds which make us cooperate, they are too strong uh, to be played around by the triple Cs. They also wanted some grandstanding on demonstrations and this and this to try to divert the attention away from SADAC. I want to thank the people of Zimbabwe. They had already showed their metro during the Heroes Day and Defense Forces Day celebration. Those who were watching the proceedings in Sulufaro Stadium, you could almost touch the communion between the president and the crowd. You know, he has read, the president Mnangagwa has hit the right chord with the people of Zimbabwe. And it was evident in Sulufaro Stadium and it was full for people from the high density, Mbari, who are again, which is incidentally the, homo, the original homo modern African nationalism in Zimbabwe, is Mbari. And there they were, the crowds of Mbari, ululating and responding to the chants of the president and his slogans as he gave the speech. They were not all of them ZANU-PF members, but they were just patriotic Zimbabweans suffering the fact that they now have we're celebrating their heroes, we had sacred, and a lot of the heroes came from Bari. Uh, young people from Bari made a decisive contribution to the liberation struggle. They were the ones who eventually showed their metro by bombing Smith's uh, petrol tanks in 1978. So Mbari is patriotic, Mbari is pan-African. Mbari loves the, the, the and in prison, Zimbab in, in prison Mnangagwa, they see their aspirations, they see their prospects of prosperity for Zimbabwe being delivered. And this is the most advanced population of Zimbabwe because of urban exposure. And they were there in full force during the Heroes and Defense celebrations to, 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 to be on the same page with their president. And it is that mood which built up all to the way to the Sadak summit. And that's why calls by those who wanted a side show of demonstrations and this, they came to note zero. There was nothing on the, on the part of Triple C and their, 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 their attempts at having a detractive, detractive side show. Nobody listened to them. Nobody demonstrated. Nobody wanted to bother with those people who don't want anything about Zimbabwe to be shown, they don't just don't want Zimbabwe to be shown in good light. This was a show for Zimbabwe, for the, for, 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 for the regional community, for the world. It went on very well, and it sidelined detractors who are championed by the Brandes Foundation. You know, the Brandes Foundation belongs to post-colonial whites, those who profited most from the colonial project. Anglo-American, the company which used to run Southern Africa, it inherited from Cecil John Rhodes. It cannot get over the fact that it used to be, Rhodes used to be actually the, the name giver to Zimbabwe as Rhodesia. They have nostalgia for the time when they were in charge of African minerals 
and they were the colonial horse riders, of, and, the, and the horses were Africans. They cannot get out of that uh, mind, frame, frame of mind. They are the ones who, 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 who support a, a panoply of various NGOs. They fund them from their ill-gotten gains of the colonial era uh, under the um, uh, rubric of the Brandes Foundation. And these are the ones who also uh, sponsor Chamisa's Triple C and all sorts of uh, nefarious Zimbabwean and non non compliant Zimbabwean players into various activities. But on this SADAC summit, there just was zero response from the people of Zimbabwe. They wanted to put a good show for the region, they wanted to put a good show for the world, and they lived up to the billing. People from all over the region who had been accustomed to a Zimbabwe which laments about sanctions and the impact of the Western economic isolation of the past two decades, they were surprised to see so much progress being done by Zimbabwe, notwithstanding those sanctions. And Harare put on its best show. You know, the high, the roads, the city was clean. All the garbage which we normally associate with the city as in because of the misrule of the past two decades of triple C, MDC, they were not there. The city was cleaned up. The city is looking speak and span for, 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 for the guests who came from all over. It was a good show on the part of the government to move in and clean up the city, but also to put in new infrastructure to make sure that Zimbabweans put on their best dress forward for this particular occasion. Well done, the people of Zimbabwe, the people of Harare. Well done, the government of Zimbabwe for the various government departments which went all out to make sure that we put the best possible image for Zimbabwe during SADAC. The other thing which is remarkable was uh, the industrial week leading to SADAC. People were here for a week discussing issues about how we industrialize but they could also see in practical, with, with their own eyes, what the country was doing. You know, they, they, they visited the various new industries uh, in mining and, uh, and in, uh, in manufacturing, which saw the country making strides. We are attracting global class capital to be applied to the world-class Zimbabwean resources. And when you get world-class capital, you also get world-class technology. You get world-class management expertise, but you also produce world-class goods made in Zimbabwe for the global market. They could see this progress which Zimbabwe is making. You know, you know, who, you may want, you know, Varun Zimbabwe is now taking over Pepsi franchise in South Africa, launched from Zimbabwe. Why? Because of the open for business mantra of President E.D.M. Nangagwa. We are now the, 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 the government of the department, the industrial resource of South Africa are flocking to Manize. Why? Because we'll be producing world-class steel for the global market, for the regional market. So the downstream industries of the South African car industry and various other steel fabricators, they are now paying, coming to Zimbabwe, they are paying. Zimbabwe is going to become the maker of steel make, making in the region. Good world-class product, world-class steel made with the best technology and produced by the most organized and competent labor force on the, on the market in Zimbabwe. Today. We are very happy that we put on this industrial show about the progress which Zimbabwe is making and it's gathering momentum. More and more of it will be the hallmark of President Mnangagwa's uh, pray, uh, stewardship of SADAC in the coming year. We will take the envelope of regional industrialization a step further, but we are also coalescing with our fellows so that we come together because a economies of scale matter. When we are 200 million consumers in SADAC, we go to investors together as a regional block. We attract capital which is, uh, which is enthused by the economies of scale, which are working on the best offering of resources which any regional block has. You see, SADAC has the advantage that 
beyond just being neighbors, beyond being friends, being, beyond being freedom fighters together. We acquired a political soul. We think alike. And you could see the camaraderie among the presidents. There was absolutely no rancor among the heads of states who were here. You could touch the feeling of, 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 of bondage, I mean, of bonding between them. The bonds were very strong and be, between, the, be, between the heads of states. You don't find it out in many other regional organizations in the world, only in SADC. Because as we fought together in the trenches, anti-colonial, anti-racism, anti-apartheid, we bonded together because we're dying together for the freedoms which we have today. So you could see this is the, this is the glue which makes Stadak stick together and it marginalized those negative geopolitical tendencies which one are always used to see in Africa divided to be ruled. You couldn't see that at the Sadak meeting. There's no, there was no Africa to be divided and ruled this time. That's why I was at, point, at pains to emphasize the support, the presence, and the positive participation of even Zambia, simply to dispel the, 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 the notions which may come from uh, certain detractors and the opposition. That is something can waylay Sadak's uh, cooperative approach a collaborative approach to the agenda of industrialization. So this, by and large, is what we are very happy with, but we are also happy that important financial partners were there. The African Development Bank was there. The Africa Free Trade Bloc, PTA now, former PTA was there. We also had Badea, the bank of uh, the Af Arab Bank for African Development. You know that because of the history of fossil fuels, which drive mod all the vehicle mo mobility today, Saudi Arabia is an important source of capital. You know they have a, a sovereign wealth fund of trillions of dollars. So does the UAE, the Emirates. They do have. So does Kuwait. These are countries with surplus capital. They are the main shareholders in the Badea, in the Arab African Development Bank. So as we look for infrastructure, for railways, as we look for water, as we look for telecommunications, as we look for ports, rebuilding the ports in Mozambique, even building new ones, we need capital, dollops of capital on a scale unprecedented. And it was nice that Badea was there to sell Sadak as a destination of but choice. Also, a lot of companies in the new energy sector, you know, we, we were there, we were seeing, we were hearing the word about what SADAC can do. We also want to thank the, the Secretary, Dr. Magosi from Botswana. He pulled, up a fanta he pulled off a fantastic show, corralling all these heads of states into a common position. We have got a, a very competent, very committed uh, regionalist. Uh, handling the affairs of SADAC, and we are sure that him and our chairman, the incoming, the, the, the current chairman, they assume the chairman was called Dr. E. Dimnangako, they are going to have this strong bonding to make sure that this agenda moves forward. Dr. Magosi, he did a fantastic job. I also want to thank INSTAC, the, the Museum, I mean, the, 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 the Institute of African Liberation. They put a good show yesterday, and uh, you know, they, they, for memory's sake, they went to look for the drums of our Douglas Wambe, the ones which they used, to, which you grew up listening at ZBC. You remember, uh, Jerusalem Amchongoyo from Rewa is a world heritage recognized uh, uh, property of Zimbabwe. So they went and dug this and they to, to grace this occasion to celebrate Africa's liberation. It's nice that some of the best aspects of Zimbabwean culture, were some there. of the best technologies are being harnessed by the Zimbabwe government. You know, all in all, Zimbabwe putting its best show during summit. This was all what it was about. We came out with flying colors and the party of the permanent Zimbabwe revolution is very happy that as we continue to accord the support to our president, 
of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Dr. E. D. Mnagagwa. He is never disappointing in scaling one template of achievement after another to make Zimbabwe take its rightful place as a pan-Africanist progressive nation. There is a can-do spirit among Zimbabweans now. There is an identification with the progress which this country has made. There is a new confidence about being Zimbabwean. You touch it, the diaspora, they are happy about their country. The diaspora, even the white diaspora, is coming back in numbers, back to Zimbabwe. This is a good indication of the fact that we are building a collective nation. And we also have increasingly full flights, even in business class, as airlines bring in investors from all over the world, including Americans. We were happy the other day, the American ambassador, the new American ambassador was saying that she is here to make sure that American businessmen come to Zimbabwe and invest. We want them to join the Indians, we want them to join the South Africans, to join the, the Chinese, all of them to come to Zimbabwe and put their capital so that it can earn quick profits from the hard work of the most organized and disciplined and educated labor force on the African continent, which is Zimbabwe is offering. So it was a summit to show Zimbabwe at its best. I think we can hit our chest that we pretty much succeeded to put a good show. And once again, congratulations to President E.D. Mnangagwa for all the work which he did on this particular occasion. I thank you.